All right, so we've got our uh, booted 18.04. Um, it's asking us if we want to uh, install updated software, and I'd say go ahead and do that because we're going to be doing a lot of uh, a lot of things, and we want to have the latest and greatest equipment there. So of course it's going to ask you for the password, whatever you set that to be, and uh, when you start it up. Let's go ahead and increase this size here so it's a little easier for you guys to read it. And it's going to take this software updater a little bit of time to get all the packages that it's going to need. So I'm going to pause that and we'll pick this up when it's done. All right. So now that that's complete, uh, the first thing we're going to do is find our terminal. So we click on the little show applications button down here if you're not familiar with it. And you see the first thing that pops up here on the screen is terminal, but if you didn't find it, you just type term at the top and there's the terminal. Now what I like to do is add to your favorites and that will keep it on this bar right here. If you're not familiar with Ubuntu and the way that this bar works, you can just add it to this bar by right clicking on it once it's open and then it will always be there. And of course, uh, depending if you're familiar or not with Linux, you do have to use the super user command to actually install programs and that sort of thing. So we're going to use sudo su. And the reason I'm going to sudo su, I'll show you here, we type our password, is I want to become the super user and stay the super user. Now if I just type sudo and then what I want to do, it'll do it as the super user, but then I have to keep typing sudo all the time. I don't want to do that. I just want to type what I want to type as the super user. So here I am now as the root user and you can see that here, root at Alaska Linux user virtual box. So the first thing we want to do, or that I recommend you do, is let's install aptitude. And there appears to be something already using that. So let me check on that real quick. All right, so the usual method I used to unlock that didn't work, and I ended up having to reboot the machine. So if you run into that error, you can just reboot the machine, and it'll work uh, just fine. So the first thing that we want to do is apt get install aptitude. Yes. So when it comes uh, to setting up your machine for building Android, uh, obviously the very first place that you want to look is the Android Open Source Project. Now we're setting up 18.04, so I'm going to assume that you're building for Android Nugget and newer. And if you're building for Android, Android Nugget and newer, you're going to need OpenJDK 8. Now how do we know all of this? Uh, we know it by looking online at the AOSP guide. If we say AOSP uh, get source, it'll bring us to the Android open source project and we can look at things like getting the source and establishing our build environment. So in our establishing a build environment, we can see that we're going to need to install the JDK or Java Development Kit, and we're going to need OpenJDK 8. So the really great thing is, if you go to this Establish and Build Environment on the Android Open Source Project, uh, the instructions are pretty straightforward and right here, but we're going to go ahead and do them as well. So we're going to apt-get update. Make sure that we're looking at the latest version of the libraries and files and uh, programs that are available and then we're going to install the latest version of OpenJDK 8. So we can just drag that and uh, middle click with the mouse button will actually paste it in. If you're not familiar with Ubuntu in the terminal, uh, that's a very handy feature. Just selecting something, some text, and then you middle click anywhere will paste it right into that portion. So my internet's a little slow. I'm going to pause this while this finishes downloading. That way you don't have to watch painfully the entire process. And then we'll pick it back up as soon as it's downloaded. 
All right, and so that has finished downloading. Now it is, uh, you know, adding a few things, installing a few things, and setting up the the programs that we've uh, selected. So that's very very easy, and that's way easier uh, doing that for Ubuntu greater than 1504. So in 1804, like we're in now, that happened really simply and really fast. If you recall, if you've seen my other videos for using Ubuntu 1404, you have to kind of go through this rigmarole and follow these more complicated steps in order to uh, set that up properly um, for 1404 but uh, works much more simply in 1804. So then the next thing we need is to go ahead and grab the installed required packages. Now notice it says Ubuntu 1404. You can do this in 1804 as well. As you will see, we put it on there. It's going to say, hey, do you want to install all of these programs? We say yes. And that's going to give us most, but not all, of the tools that we need for building our Android versions. Once again, I'll let this download and then we'll pick it up once it's done. Alright, so those tools are downloaded now. And uh, for the most part, that is all the things you need for setting up your machine for building Android. But there are a few little things that, uh, that I recommend as well. We'll close that web browser because we don't need it anymore. Um, if we take a look with aptitude and we search for uh, gedit and we want to make sure gedit is installed which is great and then uh, I recommend uh, we also take a look for um, genie which can be a very handy tool as well and genie is not installed because it has a P and not an I so it's a potential package but it's not I installed package so let's apt get install genie because that's a pretty handy code editor that we might use later and then another tool that we really want to make sure we install is sked tool because a lot of the custom ROMs use that um, for building so apt get install sked tool. And there we go. We'll grab that as well. But one of the big things we need to make sure that we uh, set up for our virtual machine when you're doing this in a virtual machine, let's look for virtual box. Aptitude search virtual box. And there's actually a special um, virtual box mode called guest. All right. So it allows you to um, you have your virtual box here and you can install some of the guest things uh, for um, allowing some additional things for guests particularly from your actual system that you're running on you may need some of these depending what uh, versions and what system types you're using. Let's do that again so we can actually read the entire descriptions of those. Um, for instance, guest additional modules for DKMS and then uh, um, non X11 guest utilities and X11 guest utilities. Again, most of this will not be installed actually on the virtual machine itself, but on the regular machine that's running this virtual machine but just something to be uh, aware of that you may need some of these uh, tools or resources on your actual machine to help the virtual machine run better. Um, if you're loading an older version of Ubuntu you may need to specify a few things with the graphics to be able to go full screen like I'm doing right here uh, because you won't actually be able to make that function properly uh, by just making the screen bigger it actually just will stretch the image to be uh, like a bigger screen instead of actually scaling the image to a uh, larger screen size. So it's a couple things to be aware of there. For the most part our machine now is, uh, is set up and ready for us to start doing things like building Android um, with, uh, with a few exceptions obviously we would need some things like repo tools and things like that which we'll get into when we uh, actually choose a ROM to build from this machine. 
So hopefully that helps you if you're getting uh, set up and getting some things ready and you're wondering what it's like to set up in a virtual machine, especially using 1804. As you can see, it's really straightforward, really easy, and hopefully, uh, hopefully that gives you uh, a good excuse to go ahead and give that a try.